Did John Mulaney kill Princess Di? Oh, no. Uh, it was so long ago. Who knows what happened in that dark tunnel on that Paris evening? She was England's rose. They'd be like, should we get a plate of fries for the table? Should we do it? Should we, should we share some fries? They gotta make sure that everyone's on board with it. It's like, if I get fries, you'll have a couple, right? If I get fries for the table, you'll have, I know you'll have fries if I get fries. Should we do it? Yeah, let's be bad. Come on, let's do it. All right, we're gonna take a plate of fries. <laughs> oh my God, this feels weird. It, it feels do, weird. It does feel weird? What, yes. like flammable or something? What's wrong? No, is, there, is, is it a one guy, guy band? No, interesting. That's a good question. But it's yeah. not a, like a, no, like a one no, one man band thing. No, no, no it's, it's a duo. It's a duo. A duo. A duo. A duo. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. A mandolin and something else. But <laughs> what? I actually just quit drinking a couple months ago because uh, oh, I'm not exactly slap happy about it myself. <laughs> this guy killed three people, and yet you'll watch it, young lady, and you'll go, I like this guy. <laughs> Why do I like this guy? How old are you? I'm thirteen. You're thirteen. Perfect age. You'll be sitting there. <laughs> And you go, look at me, I'm 13, and I love this guy. Always, do, do, al you have a, do you have a lot of anxiety? I do have a lot of anxiety. And that's why you don't want anyone to actually ever truly know you. Oh. <laughs> I am damp all the time. I am damp now, and I will be damp later. I, like the back of a dolphin, my back. I am, I am slick. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Oh, you know what? This is, this is what pisses me off about that, is, um... <laughs> what did Nick Kroll's parents do? Isn't that exactly how you want to be remembered? Now For you know. all of your personal accomplishments to still be diminished to what your parents did and do? Well, now you know how Blanket Jackson feels. And I go, why are you doing this to me? And they go, because we're Delta Airlines. <laughs> And life is a fucking nightmare. My wife is in love with this Timothy Chalamet son of a bitch. He's like 21 years old. It's a joke when she kids me about it, but it's not a joke. And I'm six feet tall. That's like a big deal to me. I don't know why it's a big deal to me, but I like that I'm six feet tall. We were coming back from dinner the other night. And my wife walks past me. She goes, you know, Timothy Chalamet's 6'1", and I just internalized it. And then the next day, I, was, I looked it up online, and it said he was 5'11". So I leave the garage. My office is in the garage. And I go into the home where she is. And I go into her office, and I go, you know, he's 5'11". She goes, what? I go, the boy. He's not 6'1". He's 5'11". He goes, what the hell are you talking about? Like, I said, I'm six feet. I'm taller than the boy. You said Timothy Chalamet was 6'1", he's 5'11". She goes, I was fucking kidding. I think I thought and feel still that I have to provide that in order for people to like me. So uh, then, you know, like the, the idea of would they like me just as me mm -hmm. without poking out of the blanket, metaphorically, uh, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a real uh, thought or, or a concern. A uh, follow-up question, Mr. Moore. <laughs> I felt like Jimmy Stewart in It's a Wonderful Life when he's screaming at his Uncle Billy. I was like, where's the money? Where's that money, you fat motherfucker? Where's my money? Stay down on the ground. Stay down on the ground, you motherfucker. That's not the dialogue, but do y'all remember that scene from It's a Wonderful Life? I am so excited to be on right now, by the way. I have to say that this is the coolest thing in the world to be a part of. This is, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad that you're the exact. Well, guess what? Charlie has a whole other grandfather and he doesn't give that other grandfather jack shit. His name is Grandpa George, in case you've forgotten. It's Grandpa George, and he sleeps in the same bed, foot to foot with Grandpa Joe, and he looks like a turtle, and he doesn't have a line in the movie, and he doesn't get a goddamn thing. So they're mean to him, and then there's a foggy night, okay, and I, I guess it's the first time this ever happened. And so Santa puts him in front, I'm assuming, and he lights the way. And then they go, then all the reindeer loved him, and they shouted out with glee, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, you'll go down in history. First off, what, he, that, you don't just erase the abuse. Uh, <laughs> And secondly, he'll, you'll go down in history, that's a claim, and fame and love, and I, am, I hate to say it, but fame is not love. They're very different things. 
Yes, you heard me, an English major. I paid $120,000. How dare you clap? How dare you clap for the worst financial decision I ever made in my life? I paid $120,000 for someone to tell me to go read Jane Austen, and then I didn't. <laughs> you don't want to get into it, but that night something, he, you saw him again? No, I just... <laughs> Did someone pay for the limo? Mm. Was, someone, was someone in the limo? Yeah. <laughs> You know, my Nana drove me to my prom. 